today, Sad and I are going to make this pork tenderloin and we're gonna make our version of a pork wellington. We're gonna wrap it in puff pastry and place it in the oven. But first of all, we're gonna take this white membrane off. Carefully remove it. There we go. Now we're gonna salt it well on all sides with this coarse sea salt. And then we'll also pepper it. Some pepper. And we'll do that on all sides as well. And then we'll rub some brown mustard. The one that still has the seeds in it. And put this all around as well. We're gonna use some prosciutto cotto today. We did not have uh, prosciutto crudo, the cured ham. So we're just gonna use prosciutto cotto to do this. A nice drizzle of olive oil in our pan that has been preheating. And then we're gonna place it right in here and brown it nicely on all sides. Let's see if we can turn it. Then we can set this aside while we chop up the onions and the garlic. We will place our pork loin right on here. And we're gonna need to allow it to cool. In the meantime, we'll get to the onion. We might not use all of it. Let's peel it. Half. Let me get some of this out. There we go. Some here. And then we just gonna cut it. And this way as well. Oops. garlic as well and chop this up as well and this will go into the frying pan once again a bit of olive oil and then the onion and the garlic and then allow these to just kind of become translucent. We'll place the sage leaves and the rosemary in there. If everything is nicely flavored, we're gonna get the bigger branch of the rosemary out. And as you can see, a few needles from the rosemary fell off and that's gonna be fine. We're gonna let this cool now. I'm gonna remove one or two sage leaves as well and then we will spread it right on top of the puff pastry. The puff pastry has thawed out. It's still nice and cool but it's easy to work with now. And now we're just gonna stretch this piece and go up a bit more. What's nice about the puff pastry like this, it's already ready. I mean, definitely you can do it from scratch, but at times like this, it's just nice to have something easy in the freezer that you can just prepare. All right, we will transfer it on this baking sheet with some parchment paper. And now on here, we will spread it with the onions. We're gonna place all this on here and then spread it out as evenly as possible. Now we're gonna take these slices of prosciutto, put them right on here, 
and this finally will host our loin. We placed the loin in the freezer just to cool it off, and now we're gonna wrap it. We're gonna just wrap it over like this, and then like this, and then we're gonna kind of press on here and tuck it under. Same on the other end, kind of tuck it under like this. With the next piece, we're going to stretch this out as well. And these are gonna be our decorative strips that we will cut out in just a second. Now we're gonna cut some strips. As straight as possible. Of course, these are not necessary, but you know what? When you create food, it's an art, and the eye has a very important place in uh, presenting food. We're going to place one strip right across here, tuck it under. And now we're going to take the other ones and tuck it on one end. Tuck it under again. And we'll go up and down this beautiful package. And now instead, we're going to go this way. and we'll keep going down all the way. And now here we have an egg and a little bit of heavy cream. We'll mix all this up and then brush a beautiful puff pastry. Now we're gonna brush it all over and this is going to give it a beautiful finish and it's also going to keep these strips in place another thing you could have done is before you put the crisscross pieces um, on top of the roast you could have already brushed it once so that they really stay in place Sada also put a little bit of salt into the egg wash just a pinch and here we are we're gonna place this in the freezer for just a few minutes so the butter can set again in the puff pastry before we place it in the oven the oven has been preheating we brushed it one more time with egg wash and now we will close the door and allow the oven to do its magic and then turn the temperature way way down and here is the unveiling this is looking amazing. Listen to that sizzling. And now I guess we're gonna reveal what is inside. Let me start right on here. Oh, nice. Let's find out. Still nice and juicy on the inside. This will be an absolutely amazing lunch accompanied by some mashed potatoes, a beautiful salad. Let's see. Okay. Oh. A nice slice. And I'm going to wish you un buon appetito.